Hi, sixth graders. We're going to start off our year of lessons on lesson 20. And um, the topic for our lesson today is greatest common factor or GCF. This is definitely something that you were exposed to last year in fifth grade math and just a really, really great topic for a reminder of a, an important skill as we move forward with working with fractions. Um, understanding factors and especially the greatest common factor is especially important as we do work with fractions with combining, meaning either adding or subtracting fractions that have uncommon denominators. And understanding GCF is going to be key in finding a common denominator, you know, making one so that you are able to combine those fractions. So this lesson will be nice and short, um, just a quick review. And um, so let's take a look. Uh, as far as I can see, only five slides. So here we go. Um, learning target for today is just to find the greatest common factor of two or more numbers. So in these slides, you'll see there will be examples where I ask you to find um, the GCF for two numbers. The strategy is no different when there are three numbers. So just to back up to, um, this is just a definition of GCF, but just remembering, taking a moment to remember what it means to find the factors of a number. Factors are numbers, smaller numbers that are multiplied mommy, together. Mommy. My son is singing a song, sorry. Numbers that are multiplied together to make a number. So taking a look here at eight. Eight, the numbers that can be multiplied together to form eight. The factors of eight are one and eight and two and four. Same thing for 12. We have uh, the factors of 12 are 1 and 12, 2 and 6, and 3 and 4. Finding the GCF of two numbers means you're taking the time to look at two numbers, finding all of the factors that they have, and then once you find the factors of each number, just stopping and looking at this list and identifying which is the greatest or the largest common factor that they have. So um, some people, what they like to do is actually circle all of the factors in common. So we have one in common, two in common, and four in common. Looks like it stops there. The form of answer I would like you to write. Some people actually in the past have just left their answer like this. And I hope you can see that as a math teacher, that doesn't necessarily tell me that you understand which is the greatest common factor. You've identified common factors not necessarily the greatest. So to finalize your answer in the best form possible, I'd like to see this. G, C, F equals four in this case. Oh dear, can I undo that? I'm using a touch screen with my finger because I don't have my stylus pen. Thanks for your patience. G, C, F in this case is four. Let's give another one a try. Um, in this case, so identifying the GCF of 12 and 18, go ahead and pause this screen and uh, do the work and then unpause it when you're ready to check your answer. So, okay, so here we go. Factors of 12, we have one and 12, two and six three, and four. See if I can squeeze a four in there. Those are the factors of 12. The factors of 18, we have one and 18. Oof, I'm sorry, this handwriting is terrible. We have two and nine, three and six, four, five, no, nope, that's it. Okay, so those are my factors. Looking for the greatest common factor that they have we have six. The GCF of these two is six. Moving forward, the next example asks you to find the GCF of three numbers. So I mentioned this earlier. Um, Go ahead and give this one a try, just for time's sake, so I'm not using up a bunch of your data at home. I'm not gonna go through this as an example, but you can see doing three numbers is really no different than finding the GCF of two. You're just adding one more number. There's no shortcut. Just take the time to do the work 
find the factors of that number, and then identify what is the greatest of those three. One thing to touch on really quick is this question down here. What's the GCF of two prime numbers? That's just a little, uh, a little question to get your brain remembering about prime numbers. Um, the definition of a prime number is any number that has uh, two factors, just the factors are one and itself. So if we're talking about prime numbers, the GCF of two prime numbers and really the only F, the only factor two prime numbers will ever have in common is the number one. So that's it for today. Um, your homework is nice and short. Thanks for watching this video and have a great night.